So life had been going well um, with the Omen Navy grind and everything was fine and then total disaster strikes. strikes. So this is uh, Wolfhund. Hi everyone. This is the fourth episode of my grind towards the Phantasm going through the um, laser cruisers because it's the same skills. Um, but yep, disaster, complete strikes. And I'll show you what happened. The Omen's gone because I'm an idiot. As you can see here, I built it up nicely and it's a symbol that took me out great ship I might do a video I've got one myself on one of the different alts um, highly recommend them to people great PvE ships uh, and PvP ships but I mostly use my PvE uh, and this is a mistake I made I was going to an encounter and it took me through on a prefer shorter through null sec as soon as I stepped into null sec I clearly hit gate camp and was taken out because I was AFK autopiloting so entirely my fault there's nothing else i can say about it um shouldn't have done it what else could i have done gutting though on the basis that i'd taken you know my uh, i had the omen itself not the omen navy issue and i built up my cash for it uh, and so with the loss a lot of people recommended an alternative to me um in uh, in the comments of the marla now i've had the marla once before and I lost it and I lost it because actually looking back on it I just didn't have all the skills and I went into an encounter that was too hard for it uh, and so that's what originally put me off going back to it but it's one less high slot it's got the medium lasers um, damage increase which which not quite takes it back to um, five but you know it certainly improves it of course it's got the big armor resist bonus um, to it which is its main thing it's having sort of sort of incredibly tanky ship uh, and so uh, and it's also cheaper than the omen navy um, so i decided that's the way i'm going to go uh, and i'm going to fit out a marla um, uh, a very nice cap stable marla um, this is it in a tier uh, t7 uh, mission it's one of the i think two and a half million missions that you get and um it's a fantastic ship so i mean i'm not gonna go through the fittings and everything in detail i might do a separate video if people want to see the fitting but effectively it was the pulse lasers so i want to be up close um with it um and two arm medium armor reps um the adaptive and the reactive armor hardeners um the energy nozz and a cap battery now i had the cap battery to start with because i actually became totally cap stable um, without any difficulty running everything once i got my cruiser engineering up on the advanced a little bit more i think i'm now five four um on the cruiser engineering and that made it cap stable until then it was i could run certainly um one armor rep and the two hardeners without significant difficulty and um just flip the phone there um and i'd use the cap battery between waves to top up but really i didn't i really didn't have much of a problem but this is the totally stable cap build it was virtually afk i could just do any of the missions um up to these t7 you know two and a half million four and a half million two and a half million missions without any significant difficulty um the one thing that you're missing here and you definitely need because i made a horrible mistake um is um a stasis web of fire you need to stay for swerve fire because you'll get a couple of frigs that come in that can micro warp drive or afterburner and basically you can't quite hit them um and the problem with not being able to hit them is um you just end up in this really weird stalemate they can't damage you enough because i can just rep and i'm completely cap stable on the repping but i can't finish him off eventually i figured out if i just approach away from them um i could whittle them down slowly but it took a long time so stasis web of fire absolute must on this build um later on i actually drop my second armor rep and put on a afterburner just to make it a bit quicker to go around and pick up the loot um and the marla absolutely fantastic i ran it's been several days since i did the last video i ran tons of storyline missions just ground out all the encounters uh and it was it was fantastic i built up um 140 150 million isk in about a day and a half using the marla 
uh, which which you know is fantastic. You get the sort of ten percent of the way to the to the phantasm just by the whole of the phantasm. The other thing I had on this one, I had a laser burst aerators to a um, laser circulation. Um, you know, the one that increases circulation. Laser burst aerator does the circulation. I had that to rig. I also had a um, the damage rig. I also had uh, semiconductor memory cells, um, which I recommend for it. But again, I actually found um, that's absolutely fine. I'm not sure you need the semiconductors. You could probably do it without. So um, if you put an afterburner in on my loadout, it was completely cap stable. Um, technically, with the two rig, uh, the two armor repairs, it's not cap stable. Um, but I think it had like a time of like 20, 30 minutes. So it, it was basically cap stable in these encounters. But that's not the end of the story there, is it? Because I did something, I did something, or something stupid again. And so I got greedy. I jumped into full patriotism. So I thought, no problem, I can tank that. And I tanked every single wave right up to the last wave. Uh, and then this happened. Basically, two webs, four scrams. Um, they're completely overwhelmed. You can't quite see it in the way this, this has been done anyway I've got the two wrappers on it um, yeah there's nothing I could do just absolutely stuck um, if you think I could have done something else but I just couldn't the, completely overwhelming the last wave so many ships completely stuck just couldn't do a thing and it's just gone um, so that was perhaps my own stupidity I thought we could take a storyline mission at T6 um, it could not I don't think there's anything I could make it better on it that it could have um, and so I lost that mana so the end result of all that is I am now going to just buy a phantasm um, because I think what I've done is demonstrate you can get to the point where you can grind out a faction cruiser on the encounter missions in Venice the first ship I lost if there was for sheer stupidity uh, the second ship probably also a decent amount of stupidity on it um, maybe a bit of greed because I wanted to go for the bigger missions um, but I could grind out the two and a half million three and four and a half million seven and a half million missions absolutely no problem with Marla it's basically a AFK I could pick those up I made 140 million in a day and a half you could build that up I'm not going to um, because the reality is I have most of my alts in null sec and I highly recommend that to most people I did one dead space during this period on one of my other alts. I made 300, 400 million isk from it. Inquisitors return great amount. Scouts, not so much. Ratting generally and everything else I can do just returns more. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to buy a phantasm. My aim is to do the high-end storyline mission, see if that's possible in my phantasm um, with this, and I'll come back on that. So um, I will do, if people want, I will do a video generally on the Marla fit. Very happy to do a video on my Cinnable fit, which is just an amazing ship. Uh, and when I get my Phantasm, which should be in the next couple of days, I will um, do a video on that as well for you. Um, thank you very much for watching. Sorry I've cut the journey short if you think I'm cheating on it all, but the reality is I just don't have the time in the game to grind at, at that level. It's doable. I recommend it. If that's the only way you want to do it, you can do it. But frankly, Nullsec is the way to go in order to make the money. That's my recommendation to you. Um, from having done this it's just just takes so much longer doing these encounters this way um let me know what you think thank you very much if you made it to the end of the video